Camping with the coast. Let's go! Let's explore Ontario parks. So much to see and do. Your adventure awaits. Cheryl and Ben will guide the way. Camping with the coast. Let's go! Welcome to season six of Camping with the Coles. We're just taking a break from cleaning the trailer, getting it all ready for the new camping season. Yes. Because we want to share with you where we're actually going this season. That's right. So let's just get right into it. <laughs> Episode one. We've already been to Arrowhead, as a lot of you have seen our video already. That's right. So Arrowhead is near Huntsville and uh, it's on Arrowhead Lake, mm -hmm. and we were there for winter camping. So that video is out and had a lot of snow. Yeah, that video is already out. You can check out that video. It's uh, season six, episode one, Arrowhead. That's right. And we did skating and- uh, Snowshoeing. Snowshoeing and stayed in a cabin. So it wasn't really camping, but we did a review of the park for winter camping. Mm -hmm. So- uh, Check it out. Yeah, that was number one. And now the rest of them we haven't been to yet. That's, nope. that's coming up. Coming up. So, we don't have the complete itinerary yet because it's still a little bit early. So we still have September and October to decide what we're doing, but we've got up until the end of August already. Yeah, and we haven't actually decided what we're going to do for September and October. We've got a few ideas, but we just have to see if it pans out. Yeah, if you have some great suggestions for us, just let us know because, uh, like I said, we haven't got anything planned yet. So, episode two. We are going to Wheatley. We've been to Wheatley in the past. Yeah. It was in, let me see, season three, episode three. But right. the reason we're going back and doing it again is because there's been a few changes since we were there last. Mm -hmm. Number one being, I think it was the week after we left, yeah. they have a boat launch dock area put in. Yeah. And there's been upgraded upgrades to the dump station. Yeah, it was crazy when mm -hmm. we were there. Um, one of the drawbacks we found is it looked like it had great canoeing and kayaking, but we couldn't find a convenient place to put our kayak in the water. Uh, if you had a waterfront site, you could, mm -hmm. but if you didn't have a waterfront site, there's really no place to put your kayak in the water. But point being, if you do have a waterfront site, it depends on the level of the water. If it's high enough, you could probably get in, but if it's too low, you might have difficulty with that. Yeah. So we put out that video and in season three, right? Yeah. And immediately after that, uh, we got people commenting, they just put a dock in. The week after we left, yeah. they put a dock in. It's like figures. So uh, Wheatley, its big claim to fame is it is the southernmost park, or sorry, the southernmost provincial park in all of Canada. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're going to Wheatley and we're going in May. So that's the birding season. Yeah. So if you're a birder, yeah. Lake Erie parks are the right. As the birds, as the birds fly across Lake Erie, they get tired. They land when they uh, get to the north side of Lake Erie, which is where all our Lake Erie parks are. So mm -hmm. Wheatley should be really good. Yeah, I like their sights. Yeah, and on that note, the next park we're going to <coughs> is we're, da -da -da -da. we're actually going to go to that park. Yes. While we're at Wheatley, we and, didn't go last time, so we have to go this time. Right, and we're only going to go for a day trip. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a review of a park, but just for a day trip, because there really is no overnight camping there. And that is? Point Pelee National Park. I know a lot of you have been there and love it, and we have to get there ourselves. So we'll be doing that when we're down there. And Point Pelee National Park is the... Southernmost so, part of the Canadian mainland. That's right. And the only part of Canada more south is Pelee Island. Yeah, right south of there. So we are going as south as we can go to, to go camping, which is right. not actually camping. Um, it does have some authentic sites there, which mm -hmm. are permanent structures right. that you can spend overnight. But we're just going there for a day trip. And uh, again, that's in May. So uh, it is very well known for its birding. 
we're not big birders, but we do enjoy listening to... We've been to, dabbling a bit in yeah, the last couple of years. We do enjoy listening to the uh, the songbirds. Yes. It's a, it's a really nice sound. One of my favorite things of the eastern or the southern parks is the birds. Yeah. So that's what we're going to be checking out. And then we're moving on to... Uh, da 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 in Huron Provincial Park. Oh, and that's that's a park on the shore of that's Lake Huron. Lake Huron, one of our It's top. between Kincardine and uh, Port Elgin. Um, and McGregor Point. Yeah, it's by McGregor Point yeah. too. Just 20, 20 minutes? Oh, 20 20 minutes from 20 McGregor minutes Point Provincial on. Park. So we've been going to Inver Huron ever since it reopened for overnight camping in 2005. So we've done a lot of trips there. and A lot of day trips too from when we were at McGregor, we'd go. Yes, it is a nice beach the there, yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, the last time we were there was? Season one, episode two. Episode two of that season one. That was our one. review time. Yeah. yeah, so it's time to update that. Uh, so we're going to go back and mm -hmm. update that. Like we said before, uh, our season one and two videos weren't nearly as detailed as uh, the later seasons. So we want to go back and update uh, a bunch of those videos. So that's, that's right. why we're going back to Envy Huron. Mm -hmm. um, next we have... Oh yeah, I was going to say about Inver Huron. Mm -hmm. That's going to be a bigger crowd that we're with. We have about oh, yeah. seven, six, seven families we're going to be. I thought seven or eight families maybe. We'll see. We'll see yeah. how many come. A lot of families are going yeah. to be there for that. So it's going to be a big one. Yeah. Okay, next park, McRae. McRae Point Provincial Park. Oh yeah, on we Lake Simcoe. We haven't been to this park yet. It's one of the smaller parks. Um, there's a trivecta of them. <laughs> a trivecta? Yeah. Mara, okay. McRae, and Bass. They're all kind of run by the same. Um, They're like sister parks yes. or something. We've been to Mara. Yeah. Um, so yeah, McRae is next on our list. Yeah, McRae is on the north shore <laughs> of Lake Simcoe, very close to Aurelia. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it's a smaller park, what, about 200 sites or so? Yeah. So uh, we're going to check that one out. And then right after McRae, we're going to be going to trip. Yeah, Bass Lake. Bass Lake. Park. So another yes. one of them there. And I think that too is, again, like 200 sites. And it's on the shore of Bass. 180, that one's a bit okay. smaller. Yeah. On the shore of Bass Lake. Uh, again, very close to Aurelia. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to check that one out. Yeah. Next on our list is Ferris Provincial Park. Oh, another yeah, Ferris. Small park. Yes. So that's east of us. Yes. Eastern, right? It's on the shore of the Trent River near Campbellford. Right, and I think it has a cool suspension bridge there over a gorge or something over like that. Over the Trent River Gorge, and we'll be checking that out, of course. This one has, what, 160 campsites. Okay. Yeah. Then after Ferris, we're heading we off to... Off back to Presqu'ile Provincial Park, which we Presqu did in uh, Season 2, Episode 2, and that was during COVID. So we didn't get to really check out the comfort station. It was closed. The, the store. store. We didn't get to, and a few other things. We didn't get checking things out like yeah. we like. Briskeel is on the north shore of Lake, Lake Ontario. Ontario. It has the second oldest operating lighthouse in Ontario. Yeah. It has a huge deep beach. Yeah. Um, Remember that that beach was so deep is reminding me like of a big Florida beach or something. A really big oh, beach. Yeah. yeah, it was great. And then at the one end that all the kite, kite surfers, surfers or yep. whatever. Yep. So, so that was popular yeah, place that was a real nice beach for that. A lot of different campgrounds there and mm -hmm. we're staying in a different campground this time yep. than the, than the last we time. We were on the high bluffs before. Mm -hmm. But we're going to be in one of the regular... One of the regular campsites? One of the regular, like not on the high bluffs, but you know on the... Right, it's the next one over. Loopy. The next campground over. I can't remember what it is. No, I don't yeah. remember either. Yeah. We'll, we'll let you know when we're there. Yeah, so that's Presqu'ile. Yeah. After Presqu'ile? We are heading back to Awenda, which we've been to before. Awenda. And, and that I... was in Season 1, Episode 3. So that season one, episode three. Severe, severe updating. Right. And Owenda is uh, on the southern shore of Georgian, Georgian Bay. Bay. Near Penetanguishene. Right. Yes. And when we went to Owenda last time, there was actually a native protester that had a blockade at the entranceway. Yes, yeah, so we had a. Yeah, we had to go around in the back way. around. Spadoogie around. around. Yeah, and find our way word. through the back way. Yes. So um, this time it is wide open. We can go through the main gate, which you've never done before. And uh, like the last time we were in Wolf, and we're going to go in Hawk Campground this time. That's right. Wolf is the one that's all electric. Hawk is like 50 50, mm -hmm. electric and non electric. We do have electric, but we're going to be in Hawk this time. Yes. So, yeah. next, something a little bit different. Ooh. Yes. Wait, what, what's Jack's looking at? Oh, it's a dog walking past. 
<laughs> oh yes. Okay, relax. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. There he goes. Okay. 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 So we are going to the parks of the St. Lawrence. Yes. People have been telling us for a couple of years now yes. that we got to check out the parks of the St. Lawrence. So we're looking forward to doing that. We're going to be checking out three campgrounds while we're there. What is our total of? Nine? I'm not really sure. So the parks of the St. Lawrence, yeah. it's actually... Uh, along the St. Lawrence River. Run by the Parks of the St. Lawrence, so it's so not run on... by the St. Lawrence Parks Commission. Correct. Right. It's not so, on Ontario Provincial Parks. Right, so technically it is a provincial park, but it's not run by Ontario Parks. Mm -hmm. Ontario Parks is run under the uh, Ministry of the Environment, and the Parks of the St. Lawrence are run under the uh, Ministry of Tourism. So, uh, same thing with uh, Niagara Parks Commission, Ministry mm -hmm. of Tourism. So, it's technically not an Ontario Provincial Park, but it is still a park run by the province. Yes. And we're going to be staying at three of those campgrounds. Yes. And yes, uh, the are. first one is Woodside. Is Woodlands it? Campground. Woodlands Campground. Woodlands Campground. It's uh, on the Long Stew Parkway near Cornwall in the St. Lawrence River. It has about 200 campsites with many offering water and electric service. Um, there's lots of things to do in the area like Upper Canada Village, wineries, etc. So mm -hmm. we'll check that out. And it's uh, quite uncommon for us to be at a park that has uh, water hookups. So that'll be cool having the water and electric. Yes, at that'll this park. be nice. Mm -hmm. The next one in that run we're going to be doing is McLaren Campground. Right. And um, it's also on the Long Sioux Parkway. It's right next to Woodlands, like couple minutes away. Yeah, it's, it's not far close. at all. Yeah. And we're going to check out um, that one. I'm looking forward to doing some kayaking around there because that area um, was uh, originally, uh, there was a town there and stuff, um, and then they flooded the St. Lawrence River mm -hmm. there. And so there's like an old town underwater. Mm -hmm. So uh, cool to we're going to go uh, kayaking around there and check that Maybe out. Maybe we should bring our snorkels. Yeah. Our snorkels might be good. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, that site's the same as Woodland. It's got about 200 camp campsites. And water and electric again. Water and electric again. Mm -hmm. Next on the list is the one I was kind of eyeing up. This one's a mouthful. Yeah, I got to read this one. Upper Canada Migratory Bird Sanctuary Campground. Say that three times yeah. fast. Now that one's not on the Long Sioux Parkway. Uh, it's just down the road a little bit to the uh, west um, from the other two parks, but it is on the shore of uh, the St. Lawrence River. And it, it's smaller. It only has 100 campsites. Mm -hmm. But they, they have water and electric also. And some with sewage. And there's, there's a some. couple of them with sewage. I think we have that. I think we got one I with water, electric, and sewage. So that's nice to end off right. three just to do everything at your site and you don't have to worry about a dump station. And all three of those parks also have 50 amp service along with 30 amp service. They are so nice. If you have a big rig, mm -hmm. there's plenty of space for you that. You get a big class A or something like yep. that with 50 amp hookup. Mm -hmm. There's a, a lot of them, a lot of yes. the sites uh, are suited for you then. Correct. So it'll be good. And there's also a lot of trails to check out the birds <clears> that call <throat> this place home. That's what I was kind of interested in since we're in the birding thing yeah. now. I thought, oh, it'd look more um, closer to an Ontario park with more trees and birds and stuff as the other ones are a little bit more open. So. Right. And last year <clears throat> we uh, went to Rondo in April mm -hmm. and we learned a lot about the birding. We did. From the uh, naturalist there. Yes. So that kind of got us into this and uh, I still am horrible at taking pictures of birds. You By the time I get the camera set up and focused, the bird's gone. Yeah. They don't. But we'll see what we can do. They don't like when you take pictures. No. <laughs> I'm stealing their soul. Mm hmm We'll keep at it. So okay. After that. Again, something different. <clears throat> We've been before many years ago is Letchworth State Park. And this is across the border. It is in uh, New York State. It's only about, is it like 250 kilometers from Toronto? Yes. 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 That's it what is. I have written down there. That is what you Excellent. have Excellent. I remembered. Yes. <laughs> so it, it's not that far away. It's certainly closer than a lot of other provincial parks. And we'll, it's huge. Yeah, it is huge. Okay, let me, it's a very large park with so much to see and do. There's a nature center, two visitor centers, a museum, a conference center, a dam, and a swimming pool. So right, you have, kind of might have to drive. Oh yeah, yeah. You have to drive to different areas. It's it, it's, it's a big, big park. It's big. Now we only stayed there one night before, and that yeah. was on our way to Bar Harbor, Maine. Yeah. I don't even know what years before we were doing park reviews mm -hmm. though. 
So uh, it'll so, be nice to actually check it out because we got we didn't have a look at anything when we were there no, last time. No, we didn't time. have time, but there's 26 hiking trails for a total of 106 kilometer of trails. Um, we're going to be tired. It's nicknamed the Grand Canyon of the East because of the way the Genesee River cuts through the land. So mm -hmm. it'll, be, it'll be a fun one to do. Yeah, that should be something really cool. And another park we've been to close by is Watkins Glen State Park. Oh, yeah. That's a beauty. It's one of the top, yeah. top five. Of what? <laughs> In that area. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> we'll go with that. New York State? <clears throat> I think so. Or the top three. Top I don't five? Know. Top three. Yeah. So Watkins Glen is uh, in the Finger Lakes region of New York They've State. Got lots of wineries. Oh, tons of wineries. We've been there, we went there once in 2012, we camped there. Mm -hmm. And in 2013, when we were camped at a different park near there, we went back yep. and did the hike again. Because that Gorge Trail hike is unbelievable. It's like being in a fairy tale. Yeah, it is, uh, what is it, 122 meters drop in height. 19 waterfalls. Yeah. It is rather busy though. Yeah, uh, if you're on a weekend uh, during the daytime, it's basically gonna be a lineup. Mm -hmm. You're gonna be walking in a line to go through it. It's really busy. What was really cool is when we were there in 2012 and we camped there, um, it was really busy when you went through it. Mm -hmm. And then one night after supper, it was a little bit drizzly Misty, out. Yeah. And uh, I said to Brian, I said, let's just go check out the gorge and see what it looks like now. And we went there and we had the place to ourselves. It was so cool. Um, hey, I have to post a picture of that. Yeah, I took some pictures. And the one picture, and I'll show you the picture, that picture we actually had blown up yeah, it's and hanging framed. in our living room. Yeah, it's hanging in our living room now. Uh, it, it was so beautiful. Mm -hmm. So that's Watkins Glen State Park. Yes. And nearby Watkins Glen State Park is the Watkins Glen Raceway. Yes, unfortunately, well, we have seen it the first time we went, but right. it's not happening this time, but we'll show you some footage or some pictures, I guess. Yeah, some car uh, racing, um, but there's no race going on at the time that we're yeah, gonna be there, it's unfortunately. it's worth checking out if you're there yeah. during that time, though. It's really cool. Mm -hmm. Hey, wait a minute, what is Jax doing now? He's looking at his Instagram again. He's looking at his Instagram. Okay, Jax. let me tell you this. You know how when the eclipse happens, uh, well, the eclipse just happened recently, yes, and today. they say animals get a little weird from I think uh, animals and people. Yeah, when the eclipse is going on. Well, something went weird with Jax because he created his own Instagram account, if you can believe it. And now he's obsessed with Instagram and obsessed with posting. So <laughs> he's got his own Instagram account. It's uh, Jumping Jax Coles. And uh, if you want to check that out, he's obsessed with it. He thinks he's going to get more uh, more followers than we have. I don't know. He's got a big head. He's, he likes he's attention. He's only been camping for one season, mm -hmm. and he thinks he's going to get more than he's us. Done We've well. got six seasons. Well, we'll see how he does. So, yeah, um, we got to get that phone away from him, though. Yes. Because he's just obsessed with it now. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Anyways. Next so, where on to? our list, another park we've been to in the past. Um, Restoula Provincial Park, and that's oh, up yeah. near uh, Algonquin Way. It's just south of North Bay. It's south of North Bay. Yeah. And north of Mikasu. <clears throat> and we're at Restoula in Season 2, Episode? Four. Four. And fun fact, that is the place that we announced the change of our channel name to Camping with the Coles. Yes, we were hiking up on the top. and Yeah. And what was news. our channel name before that? It was really memorable <laughs> that everybody loved it. Bent Guy. Bent Guy 516. 516. Yeah, it was just a stupid name. Yeah, yeah. So we, uh, we changed it during that episode um, to Camping That's right. with the Coles. Um, we only did one trail the last time. That was the fire tower trail which i love that trail and that's, that's if you can only do one point. trail there that's the trail yes. to do um there are five more trails to check out um you know what's different this time though what we're on a non-electric site oh yeah non-electric this yeah time. when we booked no lie there was five electric sites we were both on trying to get that 7 a.m hit we <clears> lost <throat> out but there was a non-electric site available so we took that yep but another thing, it's on the water. <laughs> yeah, it's it's as waterfront as you can get there. Yeah, so it's like. And we even hit the notify me button 
to yeah. try to get an electric site. And we've had a couple of notifications we of did. electric we sites. Did. But I think we like the location of where we're going to yes, be. So, so we're going to work with that one. Yeah, and this looking forward to it. Starting last year and continuing this year, we're uh, getting more set up for camping without electricity, yes. camping without ho hookups. Yeah. So I don't think we'll have any issue at because all. Because it's getting harder nowadays to right. book electric. So if we can prepare ourselves for non-electric, then we're golden. Yeah, so that's what we're uh, working towards to a be lot. a little more self-sufficient. Because a lot of the nicer parks too don't have electric, right? Right. So. Yeah. Okay. Sammy D. Yeah. That was, yeah. Killarney. Who knows? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Um, <clears throat> so I think that's it for that one. Next is another one we've never been to before. Close by. Oh. Sturgeon Bay Provincial Park. That is a tiny little park. That's, yes. That's like a handful. So it's on, <clears throat> is it on Sturgeon Bay? Yes. Which, with access to Georgian Bay. Yeah. Which is kind of part of Georgian Bay. Right, right. And it's along <laughs> Highway 69. Close yep. to Perry Sound. Yeah. Right. Um, it only has about 75 campsites. It's so teeny. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it's another one to check off our list. So we're heading there on our way back yeah. from Restool. Right. Okay. So all oh. the... Oh, oh, go ahead. No, that's it. That's oh. all we have for now. Okay. What I was going to say is... Uh, all those maps that you've seen, or I guess it's one map that you've seen that we are showing where all the parks are, you can find that map on our website. It's campingwiththecoles.ca backslash park reviews. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can go there, you'll see it's an interactive map. It has uh, all the car camping campgrounds or for Ontario parks, all the car camping ones in the province on there. The ones we've been to and have done park reviews, those are blue. And if you go and click on one of those, it will show you the thumbnail to the video that we've done for that park. And mm -hmm. you can just click on that and you can watch the video. The ones that are in red are Ontario parks that we haven't been to yet, um, but maybe we'll be going to in the future. You click on that, just tells you the name of the park. And the ones in yellow, these are the ones we just talked about today that uh, we're going to be going through going to this year you can click on some of them well you can click on them and if we've been there you'll see the thumbnail for the video if we haven't it'll just have the park name but those are the ones we're going to this year so it's a very easy reference for you to see where we're going this year that's right mm -hmm. so we'll keep you updated with what other parks we end up yeah, deciding to go september on september and october we're going to be adding up. a few more parks in there for sure yeah so Still yeah trying to work that out <laughs> yeah this is a, a great, exciting year for us. Um, we're so looking forward after this long winter, which wasn't much of a winter at all, but uh, we didn't get any camping in other than our winter camping. So now we are gonna get out there and have some fun again. To get some maintenance done on the trailer. Yeah. And yeah. we hope to see you out there. If you do see us, don't hesitate to say hi. We always say that. Mm -hmm. And uh, thanks for watching, yeah. and we'll keep pumping out the videos. <laughs> Happy camping. Happy camping.